Don't forget my channels will be splitting on the 1st of January, so if you want to see any sort of F1 or racing content, make sure to subscribe to FNG Racing. A link to the channel will be in the description below. As I said, videos will start there in January, and I would really appreciate it if you subscribed. Hope you go on to enjoy the video. Hello there guys and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for me to bring you episode number 24 of our Leicester City career mode, otherwise known as episode 2 of season 2 and last time out you guys saw me making some bids uh, for some central midfielders and today as you saw from the intro we will uh, look to conclude those deals. We've also got the start of the Premier League season, the first two games of season 2 in the Barclays Premier League against Tottenham and uh, Bournemouth as well, those two games and looking forward to a European campaign as well in the Champions League next episode you'll be seeing uh, the qualification rounds but before we get into any of that stuff we've got to look at some transfers in the background you'll be seeing me loaning out a few young players also some good news before we get into the big decision of this episode and that is that Riyad Mahrez after being slightly unsettled last season has decided that he is willing to stay at the club we'd sort of forgotten about that saga a little bit but the Algerian came uh, to us in uh, in the player conversations and decided that he does actually want to stay but now on to the big decision that I left you guys with in a straw poll uh, last time out and uh, the results of the straw poll are probably on the screen now. Ergojan Ozukup, the man you see in the background from Besiktas, you guys decided you did not want to see him. He was third in the vote. Although we did get a pretty decent amount of votes. I've got to say a large amount of people voting as well. Three figure votes was absolutely astonishing to see and all of you decided you didn't want to see Granite Chaka either even though it was very very close between himself and the eventual winner. Another player from the Bundesliga, this time from Wolfsburg, Maximilian Arnold will be our signing, uh, our first signing of season two. And what a signing it is from you guys. £11 million, pounds in, I think a pretty, a pretty decent offer, a pretty decent deal, let's be honest. £11 million pounds for a 79 overall 22-year-old who's going to be 80 overall. I'm going to train him so that he's at least 80 by January, if not 81. So he's going to be looking pretty damn decent. I think you guys have done a pretty good job. There you can see his attributes in the background and uh, you know his long shots, his shot power, attack position, vision, all of that stuff as well. And we'll look to see how he does in his debut in the first Barclays Premier League game of Season 2 against Tottenham at the King Power Stadium. As you can see, there's confirmation that it will be Maximilian Arnold, our new number 8. It is his play it is his debut. It's his debut, and let's see how he does. The Ginger Ninja is out on the pitch. I've given him a nickname already, which is a bit shocking. But nevertheless, our number 8 will be looking to impress in front of the home crowd, the home faithful in this first game of the Barclays Premier League season. And it's actually a debut, let's not forget, for our number 5 as well, our new centre-half, Nick. Nicholas and Kulu will be making his full debut, if you like, in terms of competitive competition. That doesn't make any sense, but you know, you know what I mean. In terms of full term, full time competition, and it's looking like a pretty good start because we're going forward. Arnold, our new signing, playing it forward for Riyad Mahrez. The shot is saved, and after just three minutes, Nasser Chadley's dived in on Riyad Mahrez, and he's taken him down. He's thankfully for him. For the Belgian winger, he's only got a yellow card. Could have easily been a red. Could have been a de denying a goal-scoring opportunity. But the the actual penalty has been saved by Michel Vaughan. Riyad Mahrez got up, dusted himself down, stepped up to take it, and uh, was denied by Michel Vaughan. And he's denied again as his shot in the ninth minute is deflected onto the crossbar. So Riyad Mahrez, in all sorts of um. We're having a lot of an imp a big impact on this game, and Michel Vorm is as well, stopping that Bruno Perez long shot as well, and the Tottenham goalkeeper having an absolutely fantastic game, and now Kasper Schmeichel, our goalkeeper, called, in called into action once and twice from Christian Eriksen, absolutely astonishing double save, but now right on the edge of half-time, Maximilian Arnold pinching the ball off a Tottenham defender to Jamie Vardy, who squares it for his strike partner, Briel Donald Mbolo, and makes it 1-0. It was very quiet after the first 15 minutes, which exploded into life 
but now we take a 1-0 lead in injury time in the first half. Maximilian Arnold just, just nabbing the ball off the Tottenham defender, picking out Jamie Vardy. And already, our new German signing has had a massive influence on our team already. Almost, well, really having a massive influence on that first goal. As you can see, though, Tottenham coming straight out of the traps in the second half. And they have scored some good luck falling towards them. Nicholas Nkulu, uh, sorry, his attempted clearance blocked there by Harry Kane. Well, hitting Harry Kane, let's be honest. He squares it across for Eric Lamella to make it 1-1. Max Arnold then uh, finding, I think it was Cam who then finds Mbolo, who then drags his shot quite harmlessly wide. Pione Sisto now going forward as well as we look to try and regain our lead. Jamie Vardy cutting inside, trying to get past Eric Dyer, and he's brought down, and that's our second penalty of the afternoon. Eric Dyer, the Englishman, has brought down his fellow compatriot, Jamie Vardy, cutting inside. He was too quick for Dyer, but it looks a bit soft. Not going to lie to you, didn't look as if there was much contact, but flinging in a leg like that is not what you should do, especially on FIFA, and it's second time lucky for Riyad Mahrez. He missed the penalty in just the fifth minute of the game, but now he redeems himself by scoring what could be the winner in the 73rd minute from the penalty spot, and it does go on to be the winner as the game at the King Power Stadium ends 2-1. That winner from Riyad Mahrez, his second penalty of the day after the first one was saved by Michel Vorm, and there you can see the ratings in the background. I've got to say, Maxi Arnold, as I'm going to call him, or the Ginger Ninja. I think Maxi is short for Maximilian over in Germany. I think it is. But Maxi Arnold, what a first game he had. You probably didn't see many highlights of him. He put Mares through earlier on in the game. But he literally only gave the ball away once. What a signing he is proving to be already. Just from that first game, we'll not get ahead of ourselves too much, but a first debut there for uh, Maximilian Arnold, and it was a pretty good one. And another player who will be making his debut fairly soon will be Raul Goudinho, because you guys decided I should be signing him as a backup goalkeeper from Porto. He's 70 overall and 20 years of age. So he becomes our second signing of Season 2 in Episode 2. Lots of twos going on there. Not entirely sure whether that's a sign or whatever, but never. Nevertheless, and we scored two goals against Tottenham, so I don't know what that says, but no, anyway, that's not the point. Uh, we've made two signings already in this first episode, and we'll be looking at a winger later on in the episode. Now, one question I left for you guys as well last episode, I gave you a ton of stuff to do, basically, and you guys answered this one as well, and you said I should start counter-offering uh, counter for Andre Kramrich, our Croatian hero of Season 1, but the issue is he's not really good enough for Champions League, he's not Champions League quality, and can he really produce the same season as he did last year? We, we, we might be better off sort of cashing in now, if you like, and you guys agreed with that statement, and we've made some counter offers for £7 million from Derby and from Brighton. They both came back and said they were only willing to pay £6 million, and we then put in a second counter offer of £6.8 million, and as you'll see in a moment, both Brighton, well, the, the example is Derby, but Brighton as well, they accepted that counter offer, and they've gone ahead and matched it, and that pretty much signals the end of Andre Cranrich's Leicester career, and well, you never know, you might see him back in the future, I don't know, but um, it's a shame because 22 goals, I think, in total in Season 1, and the guy's off already. I, I sort of feel bad, but equally I know we can bring in a better striker who can do an even better job than he did in Season 1. But now looking at bringing in a winger, because we do need one. Nathan Dyer's gone back to Swansea after his loan spell in Season 1, and that means that signals the fact that we need to go out and buy a replacement. We've looked at Victor Fischer of Ajax, uh, Adam Lijic, Quincy Promes of Spartak Moscow, Denis Cheryshev of Real Madrid, Patrick Herman of Borussia Mönchengladbach, and there was someone else as well that I've forgotten. Hopefully that person comes up in a second. No, it's Patrick Herman, of course, but nevertheless, uh, we made a £20 million bid for Patrick Herman, about 21 for Quincy Promes, some varying different amounts, uh, slightly less for Victor Fischer and Adam Lajajic, who are both uh, 79 overall, and as you can see, the final bid coming in for Sofi and Buffal, who's technically an attacking mid, but I think can play as a winger too, a £21 million being, uh, bid being made for him after the £30 million inquiry came back for the Lille 81 attacking midfielder, but now, before we find out whether those bids have been accepted or rejected, it's time to get into the second and final episode, uh, episode the fi for goodness sake, the second and final game of this episode, that's what I was trying to say, and as you can see there is the squad in the background, fairly unchanged, I think N'Golo Kante and Arnold as the defensive mids with Mahrez and Sisto as wingers, and Bolo and Cramrich actually coming into the side for Vardy, he was the only change because I thought, well this could be Cramrich's last game, I want to send him out, hopefully getting a goal, but certainly getting 
a game in Season 2. But it was actually Bournemouth who had the better of the early exchanges, getting the first two shots in and good save from Kasper Schmeichel from both shots. And now Maximilian Arnold being played forward here, but it's an easy save for Rui Patrizio, who signed for Bournemouth in this career. So that's a good signing for the South Coast side. As you can see, Arnold causing more issues again here and into his second game as uh, won a free kick in a dangerous position. So he's making stuff happen all on his own, is Maximilian Arnold. And so far, looking like a good signing. As you can see, Pione Sisto is stepping up to take the free kick and he actually hits the post there. That probably the closest that either team came to scoring in the first half, but it's still nil-nil as we go into uh, the second half. Andre Kramrich trying to send, uh, trying to have a positive send-off, but uh, unfortunately denied by Rui Patrizio. And it looks as if it might be an even worse send-off for the Croatian because Jamie Vardy, who came on as a substitute, has brought down Dan Gosling in probably the softest of the penalties given in today's episode. But it doesn't matter because Jonathan Soriano emphatically steps up and converts in the 78th minute. And to be honest with you, I think Bournemouth were fairly good value for this win in the end. All this this lead, certainly, which became a win. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie to you. It became a win. And I like the fact they didn't just go to the corner flag. They didn't just sit like partner boss... Uh, play it around the back, try and frustrate me. They actually went forward and tried to score a second and almost did and would have been good value for it. As you can see though, Andre Kramrich did not manage to get a goal in his final game for the club but has now been sold for £6.8 million from Derby. We get £6 million of that straight in our transfer kitty. Drop in the comment section whether you think that is a good deal. I think it's personally quite good to say he's only worth 3.5 mil. We've managed to get almost 7 out of him. It's pretty decent. As you can see though, we're making some second bids here for Patrick Herman of Borussia Mönchengladbach because they rejected our initial £20 million offer and we make a new and revised £22 million offer with the new money we've got from Andre Kramrich. Adam Lijajic there a second bid going in for him of 12 mil and another bid going in for Spartak Moscow's Quincy Promise of £24 million. Um, now we're going to see the, um, the results of those bids and as you can see Patrick Herman there. The actual offer was accepted by Borussia Mönchengladbach of 22 mil. Uh, Real Madrid accepted 14 mil for Denis Cheryshev. Uh, Ajax also rejected our bid for, um, sorry, accepted our bid for Victor Fischer. And, uh, but unfortunately, Spartak Moscow did actually reject our bid for Quincy Promise. On the other hand, Lille accepted our bid for Sofian Bufal. And we haven't actually heard back from Roma uh, as I commentate this about Adam Lijajic. So he's still possibly in the pipeline. Uh, but we haven't actually had a, a, a solid reply from Roma. We're not gonna. We're gonna end our interest basically in Quincy Promise because we don't have the money to offer more. We don't. Ha we don't actually have more than 24 million. Uh, I don't want to blow my entire transfer kitty on a winger. So he's at, he's now out of negotiations. But we're putting forward some contract offers. Firstly for Patrick Herman, uh, Herman the German of Borussia Mönchengladbach. Now for Victor Fischer, the 79 overall uh, winger from Ajax. Also for Denis Cheryshev of Real Madrid. And you're seeing the values and the contracts contract lengths and the squad roles and stuff in the background as well so that you guys can make a judgment because I'm going to ask you guys which winger you would like me to sign. Now obviously we haven't got to the accept or reject phase, there's still a few more negotiations that need to be done but uh, vaguely there'll be a straw poll in the description that, that sort of vaguely asks you which winger or which player you would like me to buy, whether that's Sofian Bufal, Patrick Herman, uh, Denis Cheryshev, Victor Fischer or Adam Lajajic. Now um Herman should be 81 or above. Uh, Bufal is 81. Lajajic is 79. Fischer is 79. And Cheryshev will be about 78. You'll have seen the bids and stuff that we made throughout the video that will help you make your decision as well as the uh, contract or wages, sorry, uh, and the contract length and stuff to help you make your decision on that one. But in the description will be a straw poll, much like last episode, that will give you guys the direct vote as to which winger you would like me to sign. Now, bear in mind the fact that there are still negotiations to be had. If someone wins and for some reason they just don't want to sign, then I do apologise for that. But vaguely, hopefully, they sh all the players will be willing to join and then whoever wins the straw poll will obviously be the player that is signed. So out of those five, Fischer, Herman, Bufal, uh, Lajajic or Denis Cheryshev, which uh, winger would you like me to buy? I hope you guys were happy with the decision about Maximilian Arnold. He looks like a pretty damn good player so far. We're going to train him and make sure that he's 80 in a few episodes from now. As you can see in the background is the table after the first two games. We are currently sitting 11th uh, on three points. We're actually only one point away from being top of the table. So obviously it's very close after the first two games. Nevertheless, hope you have enjoyed this episode of Career Mode. Feel free to hit the like 
likes button. If you did, we've been smashing 100 likes on videos in this series so far recently. If we could do that again, that would be absolutely mental. Subscribe if you're new around here as well, and comment about enjoying the video if you enjoyed it that much, as well as voting on the straw poll for which of those five wingers you would like me to buy. Varying prices, Herman and Buffal above 20 million, Lajajic and Fisher in a sort of 16 million price range, and Cherishev is about 14 mil. So which one would you like me to go for? I personally would like to see Buval because having him and Mares on the wings, both very skillful players, would be absolutely mental. So I would personally, selfishly like to see him. But obviously it's not down to me, it's down to you guys. So if you want to see any of the other players, then, you know, drop that in the straw poll. Nevertheless, it has been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a good day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye.